Welcome back. Most of the time, what you can find about this type of building is a blueprint or hard to copy sketches of the design. And for me, luckily, we have design papers submitted by the man himself back in 1938. And what can I do to make this ready for tracing is I will bring it to Photoshop and rearrange the whole design into individual plans and elevation views. So without further ado, let's launch Photoshop and begin rectifying our actual images from the site, later to be used as a guidance when tracing in AutoCAD. I'm in Photoshop now and to open my scanned image, go to file, then hit open. This allows you to browse places in your hard drive. My files are located in my desktop, so I will go to my desktop. Then from my desktop, I will go to project folder and from here, enter to image files folder. And as you can see, I divided my images into folders. One is the archive, the original scanned document submitted in 1938. And the second one is images I took from the site. And I will show you the different ways to correct and straighten images in Photoshop. Now from my archive document, I will choose one image, select it and hit open. This opens the file in Photoshop. Now the image is open and the first thing I always want to do as a good practice is to duplicate the image and work in its copy. This saves the original image from destructive manipulation in Photoshop. And to do that, simply drag the original image to the create a new layer icon down here and this will automatically duplicate the image and rename the newly duplicate to sample of course you can give it any name you prefer and turn off the original image visibility using the AI icon as you can see there are some creases in this scan document even color difference in the paper but the good thing in here is we are able to read the dimensions so to start straight in the image go to crop tool in here or simply hit C I can use the crop tool and drag around until I get some sides straight. We can notice there is also a perspective to the paper created by the creases, so you cannot fix some of the sides with simple rotation. And remember, rotation is one of the destructive manipulation of the image, because every time you rotate an image, Photoshop will rewrite the color of the pixels. This is done because Photoshop needs to straighten the individual pixels that you rotate. So if you get the two sides straight, then hit enter to finish the command. Now the two sides are straight, but the third side has some perspective to it. You can check by dragging a reference guide from the ruler. If the ruler is not in display, hit Ctrl R or go to View, then check the ruler in here. So in order to fix that, you can use the perspective cropping tool. But since I'm going to use that tool in my next image, let's use another means now. Hit Ctrl T to go to free transform, of course. From here, right click and choose distort. Or go to edit transform then distort then from here i can simply click and drag the sides i need to correct and to constrain your movement to horizontal or vertical axis click and hold shift key while dragging and in this case a horizontal movement of about some degree will fix my image and hit enter now to finish manipulation of our image this is one way to correct images with creases and perspective using the cropping and free transform tool in photoshop and next let me straighten one of my recent images from the site using the perspective cropping tool in Photoshop. Let's go and open the image. Go to file, then hit open. Since the last command I use is the cropping tool, Photoshop remembers. Let's hit another key to go out of the cropping command. To go to perspective cropping tool, click and hold the cropping tool until the flyout menu comes. And choose the perspective cropping tool from here where my intention in this photo is not the whole building, but only the signage. The name is Fiat and Talero in here. So I will click and drag my mouse to enclose the letters. After that, you can use any reference of the perspective. In my case, I will use the edge of the wall to tell the angle of perspective. Click and drag the corner handles and again to constrain it vertical or horizontally, click shift key when dragging the corner handles. After you finish your reference, you can expand the cropping box using the middle handles to contain all the letters. If the grid comes on your way, hit Ctrl H to remove the grids and you can check it from here. And when it's done, simply hit enter to finish the command. To save the image as JPEG format, go to file and hit save as. From here you can choose any format like PNG that supports transparency or TIFF with all the layers but in my case JPEG is enough. Choose JPEG and add the word corrected to the file name to differentiate it from the original then hit save. And this is the second way to correct perspective in your image and you can get rectified images in Photoshop. 
After I finish rectification of all my images in Photoshop, I will use the images in AutoCAD and in some cases I will use the dimensions both from the archive documents and from the site while tracing in AutoCAD to generate plans and elevation views and in some cases of course I will trace the letters like this one since they are not available in my phone directory and this will be the topic of the next lesson.